Not impact our weekend weather, but it has already left its mark on our local dive industry. News Channel 5's Marissa Bag explains how local scuba businesses are trying to bounce back after customers started canceling trips. There are plenty of diving tanks just waiting to hit the water at Force E Scuba and Snorkeling in Boca Raton. They were originally scheduled to be used this weekend. But then Tropical Storm Chantal blew into the Caribbean. We've probably had 40, 50 cancellations. That's about half of Skip Comagere's business at the height of scuba season. The summer, all the way through Labor Day, is our Christmas. That's what we really rely on. And so when you have a reduction, it's very difficult to make those up. The same fate fell on Captain Tony Coulter this week. He had 10 cancellations, some as early as Tuesday. You know, they don't want to spend the money, and then I have to worry about are we going to get blown out? Is there going to be a storm? People get a little concerned about the weather and they cancel right away. And really, you have to wait till it's time to go out because the weather is very changeable here. But you're looking at the return of one of only five trips that stayed on schedule for Captain Tony this week. These divers didn't let Chantal mess with their plans. I pretty much figured. It was a tropical storm and wouldn't amount to anything. Now, what's left of Chantal is amounting to less and less. We have uh, a trip going out that has space available, which may salvage some business. Now we'll start having our customers come back and say, oh man, it's not too late to do something. Not too late to take advantage of a weekend that just days ago looked like a washout. In Boca Raton, Marissa Bagg, WPTV News Channel 5.